So today we're going to talk a little bit about sitting posture. Um, most of you by now know that <clears throat> uh, we want to avoid a slouching posture, which puts more pressure on the lumbar discs, uh, more fatiguing on the muscles of the posterior chain and shoulders, and as well as compressing the, the neck joints and adding tension in the upper neck, creating headaches. The proper posture should be more upright with the shoulders in line with the torso and the head over top of the torso. Uh, the issue I want to introduce today is that usually or often we're taught that we should be using the muscles of the upper back to pull our shoulders back and stretching the chest. Uh, I'm going to suggest that it is not the job of the muscles of the upper back in a sitting posture to hold ourselves upright. I'm going to suggest that the muscles of the low back and the position of our pelvis is far more important. <clears throat> the muscles of the upper back by themselves do not have the strength and endurance to properly hold us up. Uh, if you're sitting there watching this video, try uh, to just put a hollow in the small of your back, tilting the pelvis forward and putting the hollow in the small of the back. You will feel the chest rise, the shoulders come back, and yet, I'm relaxing my upper back. Now, if you're sitting in an ergonomic chair at a desk, that little paddle down here that pulls the, the back into the, the small of your back is what's gonna help you maintain this position with even less effort. So if you're sitting at the back of the chair and you use that paddle, the back of the chair now fits in here and you can relax in that position. Hopefully you guys find that helpful and uh, we'll see you in another video. You can check us out at mskclinics.com.